Hello and welcome to the YarkServe Unified Data Protection video series. In this video, I'll show you how to create a host-based virtual machine backup plan in YarkServe UDP. To protect a node or multiple nodes, you need to create a plan with a backup task included in this plan. A backup plan consists of one or more tasks to perform a backup. A task is a set of activities to define such information as the source, destination, schedule, and advanced parameters. Now before creating a host-based virtual machine backup plan, let's verify the following conditions. Make sure you add all the virtual machine nodes to the UDP console that you want to protect. Make sure that you prepare a host-based backup proxy server where you installed the ArcServe UDP agent and the VMware VIX API. The VIX API is not required for UDP, and you do not need it to perform backup or restore jobs. However, VIX API is required for pre-post commands and application log purge. Finally, make sure you install the server component and create data stores if you want to store the backup data on the recovery point server. To get started, first access the console and click the Resources tab, then navigate to Plans and click All Plans. When the All Plans page is displayed, click Add a Plan. This opens the Add a Plan page. This page lets you create a host-based virtual machine backup plan. A host-based virtual machine backup plan helps you protect your host-based virtual machine nodes. A backup plan for host-based virtual machine nodes consists of a backup task. So from this screen, enter a name for your plan. For example, host-based VM backup plan. If you want your plan not to start as soon as you create it, select the pause this plan checkbox. Now from the task type drop-down, select backup host-based agent list. The backup task lets you specify the nodes that you want to protect, the backup destination, and the backup schedule. You can define the properties of the task from the tabs. The source tab lets you add source nodes. These are the nodes where your backup will be taken from. The destination tab lets you specify the backup destination. This is the target destination where the backup will be stored. The schedule tab lets you define the schedule of a backup plan, such as daily or weekly schedules. Finally, the advanced tab lets you include parameters that are not part of general settings, such as truncating logs, commands, email alerts, and so on. Now let's add the values for each property. From the source tab, you can provide a backup proxy and add nodes. The proxy server is a node where you install the ArcServe UDP agent. When you save the plan, it automatically deploys the agent to the proxy server. That is if the agent is not already installed there. The agent deployment settings are available in the agent installation task of the plan. To provide a backup proxy, click Set Backup Proxy and from the Backup Proxy dialog, add the necessary details and click OK. To select nodes, click Add Nodes. From the Select Nodes to Protect dialog, select the nodes to protect and then click OK. If you want to protect more nodes after creating the backup plan, you can simply modify the plan and add more nodes. Then after adding the nodes to protect, you need to add a destination where the backup will be stored. The backup destination can be a local destination or a remote share folder, or the recovery point server where you want to store your backup data. For this video, let's select ArcServe UDP recovery point server. Now select the recovery point server and then select one data store from the drop-down. You also need to enter a session password that you can use when restoring the backup. Remember, the replication can only be performed if you store the data to a recovery point server or RPS. If you store the data to a local disk or a shared folder, you will not be able to replicate the data to another recovery point server. Next, the Schedule tab lets you set the day and time schedule for performing the task. Here, you can add multiple schedules and provide retention count settings. The retention count is the maximum number of recovery points or recovery sets to be retained. When the number retained exceeds the specified retention count, the oldest recovery point or recovery set will be deleted instead of being merged. The types of schedules you can select are daily, weekly, monthly, 
and Custom Manual. A Custom Manual schedule lets you perform repeated backups multiple times a day based on the number of hours or minutes you specify. Daily, weekly, and monthly schedules are repeated once at the corresponding interval. And here in the Catalog section, you can generate the file system catalog. The file system catalog is required to perform faster and easier searches. You can only select specific backup types to generate the file system catalog. Daily, weekly, monthly, or custom manual backups. To specify your schedules, click Add and select one of the options. Add Backup Schedule, Add Merge Schedule, or Add Throttle Schedule, and then enter the details. Let's start with Add Backup Schedule. The backup schedule lets you control when the backup jobs are performed. Specify the parameters such as the backup schedule type, custom being the default option, the backup type, start time, days, and the repeat duration, and then click Save. You can create multiple types of schedules for a task, like the merge schedule, which specifies when to merge your recovery points based on the provided schedule, or the throttle schedule, which lets you control the backup throughput speed in megabytes or minutes, which in turn controls the resource usage of the server being backed up. You can also specify a window for when the throughput limit is controlled. This is useful if you want an optimum server performance during business hours. Remember that if you do not add any backup schedule retention settings, custom manual backup will still take effect but the options for daily, weekly, and monthly backups appear editable on Schedule Pane only if you have added backup schedule for them. Your task is now ready with source notes, destination, and schedule. But before clicking Save, you may want to add additional parameters for advanced task setting. For example, you may want to configure customized email alerts for various activities that your task is set to perform, or running additional customized scripts. The Advanced tab lets you select additional parameters for the task. By default, the Advanced tab has no information added. Here, you can select to truncate log, which helps you remove the transaction logs faster after every backup by specifying the duration for the SQL and Exchange server. Apply commands like run a command before the start of the backup, after the snapshot image is captured, or the completion of the backup for pre-post commands and receive email alerts. Enable email alerts helps you send automatic notifications through email. With this option selected, the email settings button is enabled for you to configure the email server and proxy server details as well as selecting the types of job emails you want to receive. Now when you have added all the properties of the task in the four tabs, click Save. And your plan gets added to the All Plans page. The backup plan is now created and is automatically deployed to the source node. The backup job runs per the schedule that you have configured in the Schedule tab. However, you can also perform a manual or ad hoc backup at any time. That's it. This concludes our video. Thanks for watching. For more information on the features and benefits of this application, please read the documentation or visit the ArcServe Unified Data Protection Knowledge Center.